Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're taking a look at Walt Disney. Before we begin, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe as you could help our channel. Without further ado, let's take a look at uh Disney or DIS. So you can see that uh Disney has been on a very, very bad uh downtrend, and the downtrend still uh continues. So where exactly are our next uh support and resistance that we are watching at? So as you can see, on the way up, the cloud will certainly act as a resistance, while on the way down, the cloud will act as a support. So you can see that uh, back then, uh, this was sometime in July, you can see that when it went up, the cloud acted as a resistance. So similarly, you can see that uh, once again, uh, sometime in November, we tried hitting the clouds and then we pulled back down further. And now we are at the cloud resistance. So uh, will we actually uh, go through these clouds uh, for now? So let's take a closer look at this. So you can see that the previous low was in fact around ninety dollars, and we had a um a, a bad trap here, where most people actually cut their losses below this uh support level, and the very next day we saw a rebound. Uh, having said that, um we are looking at the pullback currently because we are at the cloud support level. So let's zoom in uh, closely to look at some of the resistance. So from a recent low of 86.28 and a recent high of 108.84, we're looking at a very critical resistance at this 61.8% and $100 or uh, 100.22. Uh, this also coincides with the $100 psychological resistance and you can see that there was a lot of many uh, selling pressure at this uh, zone here. Uh, that's it, we are currently at this blue conversion line. So this blue conversion line is acting as a, uh, essentially the last support at around 95 87. This red baseline is currently around 97.56 level. So that will also be a resistance on top of the cloud resistance. Uh, next on, let's look a look at some of the supports. 86.28 to a high of 189. So this 61.8% uh, is a very critical support that we have to hold and it's currently at 95.31. Uh, In the event that we break down, then 93.59 and 91.86 is the next two support to watch out for. That's it. There is also this gap that needs to be closed and the bottom of this gap is somewhere um, on this particular day here, 18 November. The day high was 93.16. So in the event that we can actually hit 93.16 and close the gap, that would be good before we can continue to trend up further. So the next resistance after the $100 psychological uh, resistance will be 104 and 108. Having said that, um, looking at the long-term uh, Fibonacci, you can see that uh, the charts are really very uh, ugly. And from a recent low of around uh, this low was uh, back in March 2020, there's a very good chance for us to actually come back um, to this uh, $78 levels uh, in the upcoming weeks in the event that we do not continue trading higher. So we have to see a, a lower high, a higher low, a higher low and a higher low here as well as a higher high and higher high. So long as we do not see uh, a pattern like this, it's likely for us to continue to trend down uh, lower, potentially hitting towards the $78 or $79 uh, dollars, uh, back in March 2020 though. So hopefully we see a rebound coming soon. If not, uh, we hopefully we can see a trend with also. So if there's any changes, we could get an update. Thanks for stopping by. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.